Well, I went and picked up a nice new stub axle today. That's nicely machined at the end. It's perfect compared to most of them. But, um, there's one little problem with it. You know, I normally have to press it into this. Yeah. That's not machined correctly. So, that one's unusable. It just falls out again. But, can't do anything today. So I just finished, well, continued working on the engine and cleaning it all up. I might as well start it up. Oh, here's the dash. My camera really doesn't like it because it's so bright in places. But, uh, yeah, she runs better now. It's only a tiny little bit warm. Oh, I was fiddling around with the idle on this. For some reason the stepper motor just opens stays open. But um yeah also the alternator wasn't charging as I noticed. And the little light that some morons put in down here uh didn't seem to be working. And it was just bad contact in the socket. But obviously that's been like that for a little while and now the battery's flat. It won't start again. <laughs> so I'll charge it. Yeah, and then try retuning it once the battery's full because with low battery voltage, you're probably not going to ever get it running right. So, yeah. Stupid thing. You're going to have to fix all this properly too. So that's just crap. And that light doesn't even go out. So I don't know what's going on. Mm. Oh well. Um, I got this running and played with it some more and I thought it was running quite hot for having a thermostat stuck open. So it was getting up to about 80. And the bottom hose was quite hot, but the fans locked in. And on a night like this, it should be cold. Um, yeah, I've had a, taken the radiator support panel off of the top cover. And yeah, I found some interesting things there, which would explain that. Well, that's just what I can see from the top. So, yeah. Pretty sure the radiator has to come out. Oh well. Well, I got the go-ahead from the customer to do the radiator. As, uh, I told him that's why I didn't want to just fix the thermostat. Because, obviously, I would find something else wrong. And yeah, if I did put a new thermostat in it, it would have just boiled straight away. Because it would have got up to 88 degrees, opened, and then not been able to cool itself down. So, yeah. But unfortunately it's still too warm to uh, dump the coolant. So I don't want to, you know, drain coolant from a hot engine. It's not good for it. So, no, I'm ready to take it off. So I've got the auto lines out and everything, but uh, probably another hour. You believe they bothered to put a new water pump on and didn't even clean the fan? That's just, yeah. I'll give it a clean and see what it looks like. Well, I got the radiator out, and as you can see, that's why it was running a bit warm. So once this is done, I really have to do the thermostat, or it will run really cold. And all the oil from the oil cooler, sticking all the shit on. The condenser's just as bad, so there's pretty much no airflow. That's why the fan was so loud. Uh, and probably not cutting out because there wasn't enough air resistance for the viscous coupling to do its job. Hmm. So I'll probably clean this tomorrow. I've got to go get some more degrees. A normal coil cleaner or condenser cleaner it just won't do this. I need full on degrees. A uh, yeah, awful. Well, I've got the thermostat out. It actually has one, and it's not 
modified, no holes drilled in it. Um, but the spring's weak in it, like it opens easily. It's got about half the pressure it should have. Uh, I'd say that's probably from um, the radiator being stuffed and running hot all the time, and this being fully open all the time. So, you know, it's just eventually worn the spring out. So, yeah, not good. Not good, not good. But at least we're fixing it now.